Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the world first AOE 4 hidden cup. Now, I do look crazy and during today, during the round of eight, I will be cutting my hair straight through the middle here. So, I'm, this is gonna, this looks good compared to how I'm gonna look. But we have hidden cup. For those that do not know, hidden cup, let me actually reload just in case is a cup where all the players identities are hidden okay the players don't know who the players are my mods don't know who the players are the viewers don't know who the players are the only person that knows who the players are right here i've done a random bracket for the players and i've given the players secret identities okay so you guys will not know who the players are not until the matches are done like match now is done and I reveal the players, but until until the whole tournament is done, you guys will not know who is who. And once the tournament is completed, I will be revealing players one at a time as they drop out. That is what's going on. That is what's happening. I'm gonna show you the map pool in a second and I'm going to show you uh, what sieves the players have picked. And our first match of round of eight. And by the way, the the... The order of the matches is not the order of the bracket. This is very important. So just because this match is first doesn't mean that they're top of the bracket. The players will not know who they're playing until tomorrow, just before the match start, so they could not analyze their opponent's games. So the players do not know who they're playing, even with the hidden names. All right, that being said, these are the vetoes. We got Stacy vetoes and Bob vetoes. We've done vetoes privately through PMs on Discord. So the guys have no chance of knowing who they are, okay? They did not use AOE 2CM because there's like a way to figure out who's who. I made these myself, I vetoed against myself. So we got Four Lakes and Canal Vetoes. Uh, Stacy going with the Four Lakes Veto, Bob going with Canal Veto. Himeyama Cliffside, Dry Arabia Gorge, and then Lipani is left as game number one. The map pool, this is the whole map pool. I didn't want to introduce too many maps. I didn't want to put like nine maps and I did not want to put maps that require mods just to not have crashes. And then these are the picks for the Xarvan's Hidden Cup, brother. Stacy going with the English Delhi and OOTD vetoes and Bob went with Jushi's Legacy China and Ayubit vetoes. And one thing that we can see that is very interesting is Stacy has three new civilizations Actually, if you consider Mali and Ottoman, five new or newest civilization uh, civilizations in the game. And then Bob is going with the standard stuff, with the old civs, if you will. I mean, even Mali and, and Ottoman, you know, they came out last year. So we're going to have literally old versus new. There are no mirrors in this tournament. 16 civilizations are played, three vetoes on each side, which would mean that each player gets to pick five sieves for themselves no mirrors best of five that's it those are the rules that is the tournament again player identity will be revealed at the end of the tournament the winner will be getting five hundred dollars the second place will be getting 250 dollars and then third and fourth place will be getting 125 dollars each there are some dark horses in the tournament. There are some gamers in the tournament. There's a little bit of everything. If anyone somehow figures out who the players are, please do not spoil and be like, yo, th hey, this is it, because you're going to ruin the tournament for everyone else. And if you do that, that's going to be a perma. But obviously, speculating and guessing is all right. The interesting thing is, are the results going to be different from the standard results of how the players perform against one another if they don't know who the players are. So if you have one player choking against another player, always, right? Are they going to perform better against that player if they don't know that it's him? And that's what we're here to find out. All right. Game number one between Bob and Stacy in the purple. We got the Rus Gamer playing as the Bob and in the red over here on the other side we got Ot Omen player Stacy. So we'll see who's gonna win. I'm, I'm really excited for this to see 
Uh, these are, by the way, top level players. These are not like Twitch chat players. You know what I mean? Uh, these are not like low conquer ones. These are not diamonds. These are top top players. This is a serious tournament. Yes, this is Hidden Cup round of eight first game of the tournament. So, uh, we'll see what the results are. Managing to deny deer. Now double wolf here. Lipany. We are playing, I, I just want to emphasize again, we are playing with normal Lipany, so we might get some crazy spawns. Um, the reason we're playing with normal Lipany instead of EGC, I just don't want to use mods to not have any potential crashes, especially because the servers have been a little doo-doo recently. So I just wanted to make sure that everything runs smooth and we don't have any issues and all that. So there it is. Those are the rules. I hope you guys uh, are aware of them. If you have any questions, you obviously can ask people in the chat. Um, I'm sure there's going to be like, a, what's it called? I'm sure there's going to be maybe some link for information or something. I don't know. We'll see. So we see Rus is now. I got to get used to calling them Bob and Stacy, not, not Rus, but I'll, I'll try my best. Uh, Stacy not going for uh, stone at all. So no military school, which makes sense against Rus. You could go for military school and try to like deny wolves with spearmen, but it's not really the biggest deal and it's not really... You know, need it. You kind of just put yourself behind. So, Rus is going to be aging up, aka Bob, with, uh, what is it, six villagers. Putting Kremlin not in a super defensive spot. Like, maybe I thought it'd be, like, here. Uh, to protect the deer, deer, and, and berries. But, kind of putting it a little bit passive. Uh, in a way, like, it will protect the wood line. But I feel like the TC is doing the same job. And maybe doesn't care about, like, where the TC goes. Just wants to... Um, just wants to make sure it's quick uh, and we'll see if Rus decides to go for 2TC. Now some of these matchups, I'm gonna be honest guys, I've been playing new Civ so much that some of these matchups I legit uh, might not know. And one thing to take in consideration by the way is players playing old Civs versus new Civs. Uh, old Civs should have better success because we kind of know how they're played. So people can do them and do a lot better with the old Civs. But the players have played new civs a lot more recently. So uh, I've actually played some of the old civs recently and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot to do this. All right, you're supposed to, you know, make this at this time because we haven't played them in like two weeks because we're all about the, the new one. So that's something that players will also have to consider. Um, and I think players in general, there's going to be some players that are more comfortable with old civs and... Uh, there's some players that are more comfortable with, uh, with new civs, so, yeah. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Twin Minaret is coming up. Stone, two on stone right now. Stacy has 140 stone. Now this looks like it's just gonna be military schools. Uh, because if you wanted TC, you would probably go for more than that. Um, We'll see if the more villagers go on stone or not. And yeah, it looks like it looks like one TC for now. Maybe stables, maybe straight up military. Yeah, military school is coming. Two fucking scouts from Stacy. Three fucking scouts for Bob. Uh, three fucking scouts. Yeah, right there. So we'll see what they end up doing. Um, yo, the value camp is coming in hot right there. Gremlin shooting, there is a knight, and the value camp is gonna be for stone and gold, saving that 50 wood. Uh, so Bob will be going for 2TC. On the other side, Stacy just getting 200 stone total and will be going for um, second military school. So no TC. Now I kind of wonder what Stacy will do. We see no attempt of gold and no attempt of stone right now. So it just looks like he's, he's going to try and, and um, maybe get some units out first. Scouts the stone, which is pretty important. Um, so Stacy now knows that Bob is going for that 2TC. I think, I'm pretty sure Stacy also saw the stables. Otherwise, probably would be on gold. Um, Spearman is coming out. Maybe barracks soon. A little bit too much food right now. Stable is coming. Okay. 
And spearmen are getting produced from the military schools. So we're going to see Sipahi, which you obviously need. And uh, Rus is very good in feudal. Like, very, very good. But so is uh, Ottoman, because you have Mehter. You can make Sipahi, which are really good. You can make the trio of units. Um, so there's a lot of that that you can do. We see Blacksmith coming. The Knight is on the bottom side. Oh, sorry, not the Knight. The, the Scout. The Knight is right here. And we might see the first Villager go down. Now, this is not a two-tap. This is a Rus Knight, so it takes three taps to kill a Villager. Scout over here fighting. Scout fighting with the Spearman. Spearman not in position. Gonna lose that one, so that's a minus one right there. Is Knight gonna be able to pick off the Scout too? Ah, not quite, but we'll do some damage. It's really important to keep your scouts alive. And by the way, uh, Ottoman has this like wood line connected to the wall. So the only way to enter from this side is all the way to the bottom. So if Ottoman walls off here, uh, this whole section is going to be super, super safe. So Sipah is around. Now Ottoman is going back to stone. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be for... For TC, because this is four on stone, or this is just going to be for um, another. Uh, what's it called? Uh, this looks like another uh, second TC now coming from Ottoman. Just making production buildings to be safe, making another scout. Uh, even though he has one over here, maybe he forgot. And uh, what else do we see? Um. Yeah, I mean, Bob's right now only with one knight, producing a second stable. So no archers for the spearmen, going with the second stable instead. Interesting. And we also saw Anatolian Hills, by the way, come out from the first Vizier point, which is the eight sheep plus the increased mining time. No eco upgrades for Ottoman. And meanwhile, uh, Rus has wheelbarrow and double broad axe, which is pretty standard for Rus. So... Yeah. Maybe Stacy is like fine with uh Maybe Stacy is fine with just having a delayed down center because of military schools, but the villager difference is getting quite quite high. Double archer range coming in for Rus as well. So far, so good. The night harassment is happening. This scout might go down. Uh Rus still has all three scouts. Ottoman does have two. Uh-oh, this might be an issue. The knight swooped around and I think the uh, I think Stacy missed it completely. Stacy's going around chasing these, but there is a knight on this side chasing the villagers. Spearman, what are you doing? Step Spearman. You need to get back in there. And that is going to be another dead villager on the bottom side. Oh la la, the scout goes down and Bob is micring his heart out right now. Is that knight gonna survive? If that knight survives, that's gonna be a very sad moment. Okay, it goes down. So, loses a knight, but gets a villager, kills a scout on the bottom. So right now, the trading is uh, has been really good for Bob. Stacy losing two villagers total, losing a scout. Not a complete destruction, but, you know. Uh, and it looks like... Stacy is just going with the 111, one barracks, one stable. Spearman is gonna go down here. Scout is scouting. He's gonna see uh, probably just. I wonder if he's gonna even make a wooden fortress or not. Or he's just gonna. Because right now, Rus has all the pressure. So I don't even know if Rus needs wooden fortress there. Because the knights are harassing quite heavily. And it looks like the TC on the gold and between berries, worker count 16 on food, 6 on gold. Horticulture is coming up and Rus from the looks of it is just gonna go for mass knight and archers um, Now the longer the game goes obviously Rus has eco advantage already, but the longer this game goes uh, it, It's gonna be a bigger and bigger problem uh, as or bigger and bigger like advantage as far as military goes for uh, Ottoman because the unit production will ramp up quite a bit especially when third military school comes in but because of the eco disadvantage, it might not really matter or even be in the favor of Rus because the villager count difference is 12, which is quite big right now. So, 
So, yeah. The archers are pouring in. Plus one is completing. No other upgrades, I think, for uh, survival techniques for Bob too. Stacy is getting eco upgrades slowly. No wheelbarrow yet. Um, so Stacy looks like just wants to play defensive while on second TC. Probably wants to get um, more stone for the another military school because it should be activating somewhat soonish. And I feel like Stacy has a decently good position. I'm not sure about the production buildings in the front. Like that might turn into a bit of a problem. But regarding food, like if Stacy gets like a wall here and a wall on this side, it will be a lot of food secured, like almost instantly. So. Yeah, the blacksmith might be going down, and the blacksmith is researching plus one ranged uh, armor. And that's something that Stacy definitely wants. The army is in favor of our purple gamer over here. Is Stacy gonna go for engage? Plus one ranged armor is not down, but these Sipahi, if they get on top of the archers, they're gonna absolutely melt them. We're gonna see if the fortitude gets activated. Some Sipah here on the archers right now. Archers are on the archers. Gremlins are coming out. Dude, I completely forgot who says gremlins. Gremlins are coming out. The knights are mowing down everything. And it's not looking good for Stacy. Villagers go in. A lot of... Oh, there's a lot of units still. So Bob is going to dive quite hard. But I don't think this is going to be a kill. And he's diving because the gremlins are here. Gremlins expire. And Stacy should probably just turn around and fight right now. Because... This might be a little bit of an overextension. Like, this causes a lot of idle time, and that's great. But this just went from, like, 40 army supply versus 20 to now it's going to be uh, about to be equalized. And no worker kills, by the way. So zero worker kills for Bob there. Did cause some idle time. Another military school is coming. Bob still piling on the pressure. Doesn't want to let go. Blacksmith is plus one. That's going to have to be canceled. Military school not in the range of BS right now. Uh, and again, the army supply was more than 10 when the engagement started, and now it is almost equal. So, uh, if Blacksmith goes down, it's going to reduce the production for this quite a bit. Too many villagers on gold. Stacy's steering a little bit probably right now. I'm not sure where the TC's rally to the gold, that's why. We do see an engagement. Stacy is going for it, trying to target fire the archers with the Sipahi. Sipahi like dent in the archers, by the way, and you can see it here. Like, the archers are getting brutalized. Now, what Stacy needs is more spearmen, because while these archers are going down, and that's great, there are no more spearmen, and the knights can come in, swoop in, uh, bite them cheeks. He's running back again. Now, is who's going to commit? Is siege engineering done, by the way? Siege engineering is done. So, Rus can go for siege engineering. And just start, yeah, and start taking down the military schools. And what Stacy needs is, I feel like, more barracks uh, to deal with knights. Like, this ratio of archer to knight is not, like, good for Rus. Like, or, sorry, not good for Stacy because for 10 knights, you need, like, 20 spearmen to make sure you not you don't get run over, right? Uh, because the archer is obviously going to kill a lot of spearmen. So, um, yeah. Now, Bob and... Uh, Bob is going to be pushing with them rams. Stacy is going to be trying to defend. But right now, the, the production is pretty exposed. Because if the production was in the back, the production would be a lot harder to take down. Like, you would be ramming uh, the TC, and now you're ramming military schools. And once military schools go down for the Ottoman, it becomes way, way worse. Like, your whole advantage of the sieve uh, goes down completely. And then that's going to be... Like, losing a barracks, not a big deal. You know, losing a, a stable, you can remake it. But once you lose military schools, they cost 250 resources per. And that's just, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty bad. And obviously, Rus is going to go, aka our Bob, is going to go straight for the military schools. The villagers are getting harassed. Stacy pulls back, got some market, probably going to buy food, I would imagine. And wood to make more units. That's Ipahi. Five seconds to go. That is not coming out. Nope. Goes down. Oh, Mechter just came out. I just realized Stacy did not have Mechter this whole time. This whole freaking time. 
But, but, the Janissaries are out. Six Janissaries are out. And one gets picked off already where I'm selecting all the units so you guys can see. If Janissaries survive, they're gonna dent in everything. Four Janissaries. Good target fire from Bob. We got Spearman from Bob as well. Janissaries are getting dented in. Three Janissaries remaining. It's a destruction right now. Bob is committing. Two Janissaries remaining. Janissaries are doing so much fucking damage, but they're all dead. They're all dead. Two military schools just went down. Mechter is trying to cook something up. I feel like if the defense was a bit stronger earlier on, this Mechter timing would have been so much better for Stacy in trying to hold this on. The military schools are going down. Two are down. Third should be fine. And for now, Stacy will hold. Now, if the military schools were still pumping out units, I feel like this game goes on and it's a pretty tight game because the military production will continue. The military account will be similar, although Bob does have uh, more economy because of all the, the villager um, advantage. But if you look, Stacy's actually only losing two villagers this whole time, which is... And, and by the way, that was pre attack that was just harassment so not losing any villagers since is pretty good obviously it's not great because you are losing military schools probably needs a blacksmith here trying to get more stone for another one sipahi on this side maybe he's gonna try to harass maybe he's gonna try to wall walling he needs to wall this to get access to more food i like that this is what i mentioned earlier if stacy walls this off gets a lot of free food now, Bob did not go super YOLO, did build a wooden fortress on the boar. So, if these Sipahi leave the base, uh, they're not gonna find much, and he might need Sipahi to actually defend this. So, yeah. One rank coming out. Now, the knight count is lower, by the way. The Janissaries are gone, but there's 19 archers for Stacy. And 19 archers is quite a bit. Like, that's the point where with Mechter, you get quite a lot of value. That Mechter is so forward, I'm, I'm a little bit steering. The, the Sipahi need to go onto the archers for this to work. The spearmen all get target fired. And it seems like Stacy doesn't want to actually go on the archers. She's just blasting everything, like, from the get-go, from the start to the end. Um, so the archers and Sipahi are fighting into the knights. We do see target fire now on the archers in the back. A lot of Sipahi, not so many knights remaining. Pretty close fight still, but the units from Rus are just pouring in right now. Again, I feel like this game was... And this is very important, guys. And I mentioned this like before my stream, but placing your buildings as Ottoman matters a lot. If this was a more passive matchup where Stacy could push Bob... Uh, I think you can put your production forward and not worry about it, but I think if you play against more aggressive civs, you have to put your production in the back. Like, I cannot explain how big of a difference this would be. Because uh, another thing, ramming these buildings, Bob kept units outside of the TC range, so the TC wasn't even helping in the fights. It's helping now, but the earlier was not helping. And if the production buildings are in the back, like now, then the opponent is ramming into town centers, which you always have like 7 to 15 villagers, depending if it's main or second TC, helping out with, with shooting and everything. Um, so it adds a lot more DPS. And with two civs that are mass producing units, obviously the civ that has TC on their side too is going to do um, quite a bit better. And now this is a massive army. Farm transition coming from Bob, getting the opponent's berries now. And Bob is running out of food, by the way. I just want to mention that. So this is the, the power of Rus. Like, while you have the boar, and, and the boar is gone too, and the deer. So while you have the boar and the deer, your food income is, like, insane. Like, you're just pumping, and you're pumping, and you're pumping. But eventually, because of your gathering rates, look at this. 35 on wood right now here. 44 I saw, just saw. Uh, because you are uh, have faster gathering rates and you offer survival techniques you actually eat up your food really fast So you can see the unit production will slow down in a second. The units are not really, really rallied as much as before So if Stacy manages to hold here the aggression from the Rus is gonna slow down quite a bit Because Rus needs to transition to farms. Meanwhile, uh, Ottoman still has 
a lot of deer in the back, a lot of berries to work with. And Stacy's trying to age up and this might be just a wrong time to do so because Rus is completely, completely committing to it. The age up will complete, but I think this might be one of those GG completions. Bob is completely overwhelming right now. It's a complete destruction, as one chimp would say. And I think this might be it. Stacy reaches Castle Age. Um, no. Still producing Sipaki, producing some men at arms. And you can see, Bob has only 26 on food and 55 on wood because he needs to transition to the farms. So this is the point, like I said, where the unit production slows down a bit. And for Ottoman, the, the unit production like keeps pumping the whole time. And uh, if you manage to hold until that point, like if Stacy took some better engagements earlier on, uh, like maybe not losing the two starting villagers obviously hurt, but if Stacy took a little bit better engages early on, then Stacy would basically be defensive, but reaching castle first and having more food. And that's kind of the the timing that you can do against Rus, but Wait, what? Okay, the game just crashed. <laughs> Dude, I love how the very first game of the fucking tournament is uh is a fucking crash okay hold on i need to see like bob clearly had a massive advantage right now i want to see if there was a chance there so bob dc'd a minute before the game ended okay so this is the point where i'm going to show the, the 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 stream so this is the point where i think it was an age up crash because Bob is not aware that Stacy uh, Stacy aged up because he didn't say anything. So this is the moment where Bob uh, crashed. I'm pretty sure it was just an age up crash. Now, yeah, Bob stops playing here. So the road to the villagers on the north is open. Bob knows that the villagers are there. 12 knights can just go there right now. If Bob... Bob has 600 food. He could age up as well, and I think the the villagers of Stacy would get would get completely butchered. Again, Bob knows where all the food is. He sees the deer packs. He see he knows where the gold is. Even if like if this was a different matchup and it's like just archer spearmen and then men at arms are coming, I would say I would say like oh maybe Stacy can come back. But you're playing against 12 uh, feudal knights. Even if a knight comes out, it will not do much. It, it will get eaten up by the knights very, very quickly. So, yeah, there's also rams. Like, you can see the archers are right there. And they can chase the villagers. I, I don't think this is a remake, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think this is... Uh, I think this is... Uh, this is Bob W. Guys, I know this is not a top-tier production, but we're working with what we got, all right? We have just completed Lipany. The next map will be Gorge. Byzantines will be the next civilization versus Mongols. And we just saw Rus get a W versus the Ottoman. So it is 1-0 for Senor Bob. Game number two is coming right up between Bob and Stacy. It's going to be Mongol versus Byzantines. I have no idea how this matchup is going to go. Uh, I don't know much about this matchup. I don't know much about all of the other or new versus old Civ matchups. So uh, we will see how it goes. Stacy down one game. Game number two. And we got Bob leading 1-0. In the top right, we have the purple Byzantines, Stacy. Let me do. S S oh, I can't wait. I can't. I can't zoom in and rotate at the same time. That's a shame. Okay, purple, the Byzantine player, Stacy. Boom. And in the teal, we have the gamer who is one zero up. 
the teal mongo bump boom i just made a new thing you do a full spin and you zoom in all right so uh even before the new sieves came out we actually haven't seen a lot of um, um mongo on gorge we've seen it sometimes the reason we didn't see it is uh it's actually a terrible trade map so or not terrible it's it's a bad trade map the trade is on the middle right here so you could trade from the bottom corner to there but uh not the greatest map for it now what the map is great for is tower rushing. The reason why the map is great for tower rushing is this small tree line can actually block your resources. If it spawns here, it blocks the resources for spawning in the backside and you always have your wood line in the back, which means that way more often than not, your gold and stone will be forward and very often as well, they will be together. So if Bob places a tower right here, that's gonna block the gold and the stone now i i seen some people in the chat say what you know is byzantine gonna go for the stone build and, and triple cistern i don't think that you do that in this matchup the reason you don't do it is because you would get absolutely butchered because right now you would still be collecting stone and gold and obviously mongol will tower rush so the villager is coming we see uh villagers four villagers on wood actually coming from bob and Stacy is aging up with Grand Winery, and that Grand Winery is pretty exposed. Uh, and the reason I say pretty exposed is because it won't get denied or anything, but uh, Bob can just burn it from here for like an hour and just do damage to it and maybe even force repairs. We'll see. Easy. Easy. The spearmen run away, the torching of the mining camp has started. And Stacy is going to age up with six right now. Um, I feel like kind of no need to do this because I think that the tower is probably going to go up unless villagers are pulled. Yo, I just realized, dude, dude, I think neither of the players thought about this. There's no way, to, no way that Bob thought about this. So Byzantine can activate Akritoi defense, which increases the villager damage and armor by plus two. So if Stacy pulls like eight villagers and activate that shit, it's good. Like the spearmen are gonna fucking die. Yeah. Also, what the cistern could have done is like minus five percent damage taken from from the for the mining camp. But dude, I think neither player thought about this. And you can see Stacy's not attempting to do what I just mentioned. And Bob, I, I, I don't know if you can tower rush Byzantines because of that. Because Byzantine can just activate that shit and go beat your tower. Is it that strong? I mean, it's plus two damage, plus two armor. So the villager would have eight armor and then or sorry eight uh, damage and two armor and spearmen don't have any armor so yeah and this is guys this is the part that i was saying like we are only two weeks into the dlc into the new expansion and we haven't played byzantines and mongols literally like there are not many byzantine mongol matchups at the high level but once people have more knowledge and like oh yeah i can do that that's gonna be crazy because that means that byzantines are gonna I'm not gonna say maybe like counter to Mongol, but if you can't tower rush as Mongol, like that's pretty bad for you. And trust me, this ability is strong. It's very strong against feudal units, and these are Dark Age spearmen, so yeah. Is this the first best of five? Yes, it is. We see Archer range now coming. We see Grand Winery, so no Hippodrome. We see Silver Tree for Bob. We see Stables, so pretty standard uh, Mongo stuff. Uh, I am more curious in what Stacy decides to do because this is, again, I've talked about this before. I think in the current state, the older si the old sieves are a lot stronger than new, not because of balance, but because players do not know what to do with the new sieves, such as. With Mongol, you know you tower rush into trade, right? 
But if Stacy had a lot more experience with Byzantines, the tower would not go up. And then the question is, okay, now I'm gonna get uh, a Keshe created most likely into trade. So now you gotta think, okay, how do I how do I kill the trade with Byzantines? Right? I know how to do it with other civs, but what do I do with Byzantines? And that's the stuff that you only learn by trying different things and, and seeing what works and what sticks. Now Stacy is going for that olive oil. Um needs to build oh that sister might give enough stone. Um and also where do you go with olive oil? That's another thing. Which mercenary uh I think Byzantines has so many choices like that. Like, which mercenary is the best? Do you go for... I don't think you go for... I mean, you could go for Keshik, actually. But the opponent is just going to have more of them. You could go for Javelin Throwers, or you could go for Longbows. Javelin Throwers might not be a bad idea, actually. I, I kind of like that idea, because then you could go Mass Limitane, like two Barracks Limitane, you could go one archer range and you just go mass javelin throwers. And then the javelin throwers kill the archers and then your limited A kill, um, kill the, uh, what are they called? The, the Keshiks. And then later on you get access to camel riders with javelin thrower mercenary. So I think that could work. We see Bob deciding to go for the bottom trade. And the traders are now chilling because the thing needs to um, do that. Traders are going to start moving in a second. And they're going to get 83 gold. So 83 gold trade. I mean, pretty good, to be honest. And now Stacy doesn't know where the trade is. So Stacy has a scout right here. And Stacy's assuming that this is the trade. Oh no, it's a mercenary house. Wait a minute. Stacy's gonna go for Sipahi? The bottom mercenary house gives Mangudai. I mean, that's a kick double. You don't go Mangudai. Uh, so Bob doesn't know this, but yeah, Stacy's going with the mercenary house Sipahi, which are gonna be graded rating. Obviously, gonna cost only oil. Limitane are activating the shield wall, so they're gonna take less damage. And Bob is obviously target firing the archers because Limitane are taking. Uh, Less damage from the arrow shots now. The Keshiks come in. They're denting in one villagers. Limited. Uh oh, the archers are arriving as well from the other side. And uh, this was not a good engage from uh, from Stacy. Not at all right now. The scout might go down. Sipahi are in production. And we'll see where the Sipahi go. Uh oh, this is a Misraeli Keshik. And I'm getting a little bit worried right now. I mean, I don't mind the Sipaki choice because you get calorie units that are expensive on food for oil. Oh, that's that's a, that's a bold choice. Stacy wants some of that gold, but I'm not sure if the gold is what Stacy's gonna get. Trade is ongoing. Five traders already. Blacksmith is up. The uh, stables, the barracks, the archer ranges are up, and Stacy wants to break the tower, but that is that is not. I mean, fighting under a tower with five units inside, the Khan might go down. The Khan does not go down, dude. Limitane tanks so much. Holy shit! Are you guys seeing this? There's a tower shooting at them, and all the archers, and they're just tanking still. Uh. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna give it a moment. That that's on me. No, oh, no, that's on me. That's on me. I'm gonna give it a moment. I paused it. Dude, are we gonna have second game crash as well? Don't do that to me. Okay, I just checked Discord. No crashes reported. Yeah, like I said, we are running the AOE four servers right now with the power of uh, hamsters. They are running on the wheel, but. One of the hamsters having back problems, so the servers are struggling. Sipahi are coming in. Wait, you get three Sipahi? That's pretty good, actually. Wait, you get three? I thought you got two. I, I mean, I guess it makes sense because you get two knights. Okay, three Sipahi I actually like. I thought it was two Sipahi and I was like, mm, I don't... 
I don't know about that. Uh, plus one ranged armor is in for Bob. Plus one ranged attack is coming. And now Bob knows. I mean, Bob sees Sipaki and is like, huh? Wait a minute. Hold up. Now what you do is you take Sipaki, a Stacy, and you run it down. Because you you should you would have seen the trade, right? Yeah, and, and, and Bob is like, you little shit. You little shit. The trader, the villagers are on the top gold, and these are the most YOLO villagers you'll see. No tower. Stacy is praying, prage that that the opponent does not see it. Now the mercenary house has a lot of health, uh, by the way. It has so barracks has one and a half k. Mercenary house has one and a half k too. So it's like burning down the barracks with like six units. It takes a little bit. Now Stacy is gonna go back with the gold villagers. I think I think Stacy's just gonna go to this mining camp now. Almost has enough for another Sipahi round, but that is now gone. So probably needs to build Mercenary House in the base or tries to YOLO another one. Uh, goes for these berries. So Stacy wants more mercenary units, but I'm not yeah, sure how so that yeah. is going to work out in the end. Yeah, it is counting the traders, by the way. So it's 48 versus 38 and they are 10 traders. So it works out exactly and mongol also has one less um oh there we go 11 villagers mongol has one less villagers because of the tc unpacking so there it is yeah i think stacy again it's I, i've played guys the new sims against old and it, it is rough right i know it might sound simple like just make this forehead just make that but there's a lot of things you're like, oh yeah, I could have done this or you know I could have done that. So it is it is rough. The army supply is almost the same, but Bob has way more eco. Bob is now getting the eco upgrades too. The villagers are under attack. And also Gorge is a map that you can't really wall, right? You can wall the middle of the map later on, but you can wall early. So any cavalry attacks are really, really strong. And I'm very surprised that Stacy is not trying to raid with these Sipahis. Not trying to raid at all, actually. Because uh, definitely should maybe try to split off. I mean, not one. Just, just take all three and go raid. Now, Bob is on the boar as well. Uh, this is only one tower, so this time around, Bob will not be able to garrison all the villagers. 800 oil, and Bob left a Keshig here, so... Do we see Mercenary House? No Mercenary House. I think I think Stacy might try to go on the Mercenary Trade Post again, but I don't think that's going to work out. I think, yeah, Mercenary House being built right here. This is going to have for one round of units. But right now, Bob looks like he wants to age up. And once Bob ages up, I think it's going to be really rough. I also think that playing new sieves against aggro sieves from the old ones, such as like Mongol or, or Delhi or even HRE castle rushes, like where you need a s specific response. Um, are these like gold players? Basically, yeah. Basically gold and then you add like thousand and a half rating to them and then Yeah It's kind of it It's kind of it. Keshik might go down No eco upgrades for Stacy by the way. Kurulta is coming up Traders are going strong and uh, 15 traders right now online 15 Can other top players tell who these are just by style? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think you'll be able to maybe tell some players. Um, some players probably not. So, yeah. Okay. So if you are one of the top players, you know, please don't spoil in the chat. Like, yo, I know this. it's 100% this guy. Stacy is going for a push because Bob just aged up, but I think this is going to be a destruction limit. Tanae are activating the shield wall ability. They are tanking quite a bit. They're doing quite a good job with that. But this is just so many Keshigs. The veteran upgrades are not even in, but I don't even know if it's going to matter. 
the we see Keshik production for Stacy too, but I think a little bit too late. Stacy's trying to wall off the bottom side, but that is gonna be it. And Bob with a quick destruction right there. A quick, quick one. You gotta react to the Mongol trade, and I, I got again. I gotta say, if you don't know, if you don't know exactly how to deal with Mongol trade as whatever city you're playing with, that's a pretty rough one. The next map is going to be Dry Arabia. So Gorge and Dry Arabia are played out already. And then the last two maps, if we get to them, are going to be Himeyama and Cliffside. And we just saw Mongol win against Byzantines. And the next matchup is going to be Malians versus Abbasid Dynasty on Dry Arabia. Here we go. Game number three is about to start. How can we attend this tournament? It's very easy. Just be one of the best players in the world and I'll get you in for the next tournament. If I ever host Hidden Cup again, I will get you right in. And here we go. How do I switch players? Oh, I can't switch players. I have to switch the score actually. Because... Boom, right there, professional streamer. Game number three on dry fucking Arabia. We got Bob in the green as the Ab acid. Uh, and then we got Stacy in the blue as Malians. Now people in the chat have asked, who is this matchup good for? I think Abbasid is way better in this, or I personally favor Abbasid in this matchup because um, the Abbasid archers are nuts. And if you go Gulam and then just mass archer, you kill everything. So I think for Stacy to have a chance, there needs to be some kind of fast castle, sofa, cheese kind of thing going on. Or just feudal all in. That's it. Now, guys, I'm just saying. Bob that does have a little bit of a little bit of a Marine Lord spawn, if you will. Uh pretty good spawn. For the opposite, got two food sources here, easy walls. This is even wall foolish. Eesh. Bottom side a bit more rough. On the other side, Malian has forward gold, but this could be a problem in other matchup. But in this matchup, it's not that big of a deal. Like usually Malian is the one who is aggressive. So usually that doesn't matter, but maybe Bob turns it up and attacks because the gold is forward. I don't know. The other two goals from Malin is this one on the side, which cannot be walled easily. Although I keep forgetting now you can wall off with resources, right? So Stacy could wall off like this, right? And, and save, save up some wood. So there's that too. Oh, yes, snack, sorry. And we do see military wing co coming out from Bob. Man's a quarter. Now, we might actually see Bob. Let me see where his workers go. Oh, this is going to be a this is going to be a stable opening. So, this is not going to be the passive abbasid. This is going to be a stable opening into horsemen with the military wing, so this gold is getting attacked. Now, did Bob scout this? Okay, Bob does not know where gold is, so Bob is just going for this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, never mind. Never mind. Bob redirecting. Uh, I thought it's it's gonna be the horseman because he had seven villagers on food, which is what you do if you go for horsemen, but he just swapped his villagers over, so maybe not. Maybe it's just gonna be to TC straight away. Although I say that, and there's barracks coming. Okay, he has 40 gold, so this is a clean build right here. Bob got 40 gold, and Bob is gonna upgrade his spearman to feudal age spearman, and maybe even make a spearman or two and start burning down the houses. Now, does Stacy know? Stacy just got it, but I actually missed if Stacy saw the barracks or not. I obviously knows that there's a military wing. 
Yeah, Spearman is coming out, so there's gonna be three Spearman, two Archer, push. Maybe even four Spearman, two Archer, push. We will see if Bob adds in our Spearman or not. He has food, he has uh, units queued up. Spearman is coming. Yeah, it's gonna be four Spearman and then uh, Hardened Spearman upgrade. Don't think we're gonna see a Ram, that's a bit wild and it's also gonna take forever to build. Stacy makes Archer range immediately. Okay, so Stacy obviously knows that there's a military wing, so even without the barracks, you know, you kind of need archer range to defend this. Um, and the torching is about to start. So what Stacy needs to do is just build um, archers or javelin throwers are fine too. Uh, Stacy getting the double broad axe just needs to build. Oh, there is a ram. Is there a stable too? No stable. Okay, so there is going to be a ram, and the interesting part is that Stacy does not know Pepe Laugh. Stacy needs to see this because if there's a stable, you need melee units. You don't want to pull villagers to kill a ram, and Stacy's going around. Stacy, where are you going? You need to see this because otherwise, you're going to need to pull villagers to kill the ram, which is just painful. Even if these units don't exist, you don't want to pull villagers to chase around the ram. So, Bob opening very aggressive into two town centers and Stacy went all the way around has no clue you can see Stacy's playing defensive putting the javelin thrower here and I think now when the ram comes this is not that common of a play I would say um, because I feel like if if the Malian sees this you make stable and you make like scouts to just kill the ram really quickly and what is Bob going for Bob is going for farther Oh no, that ram just took a long detour for some reason. And now, I think you gotta make a stable or something. Stacy's going for the gold. He's gonna start shooting at the archers. Oh, it's gonna pull the villagers. The thing is, if you pull the villagers, it's, it's just idle time. And the ram can then run away, you know, cause you idle time on the economy. And that thing might still go down, by the way, which is another potential disaster. And yeah, the pit mine will be going down. So Bob doing a pretty good job. Let me actually pause for a second so that this plus turns into white plus. So you guys don't know when the game ends. Boom. So. Uh, Game is ended, yeah. Game is already over. We're going into game four. So, <sighs> this is kind of what I mean. He needs to rebuild a house, pit mine, and he's losing a lot of resources here. So this ram, in my opinion, paid off for sure. Because behind it, Abbasid got stone to make... Uh-oh. Abbasid got stone to make a second town center. And the town center is going to be the one in the corner because or all the way here because this side you can wall off pretty easily so even if you make a tc here you can just defend it with walls so pretty good stuff so far stables is now out too only javelin throws some archers but one horseman is not going to be able to do too much so i think uh stacy will be more than fine no wheelbarrow and at this point, if you're playing as a Malia, you want to have like three, four ranches kind of going on with the cows and stuff like that. You don't want to have like one uh, full ranch and then one just starting up when the Abbasid has a second town center already completed. So pretty, pretty rough. We see fresh food stuffs being researched from Bob. So maybe you forgot about that. Uh, again, some, like I said, some of these guys are not playing the old sieves as much. So maybe just lost track of that. We do have the uh, Golden Age 1. Horseman is coming in. But yeah, I think this is just too many ranged units probably. Donzos are struggling to throw that spear right there. And this is going to be defended. Now there are Horseman Javelin Throwers. And this is the moment where uh, Malian can actually put the Abbasid in a pretty uncomfortable position. Where if you push his Malian with Donzo Javelin Throwers, that's like complete counter of what 
the Abbasid can do and it can be pretty pretty annoying to deal with and maybe make Abbasid over make units and stuff like that. But for now, both guys are just booming. Um, maybe could even consider putting in more gold villagers and just uh, committing more and I think Stacy making another archer range this is gonna be a feudal kind of committal um, wheelbarrow and double broadax coming in for Bob so Stacy might be committing to to feudal a little bit more now the thing is if you don't by the way uh, basically what happens is let's say Malian ages up with the cow boom and then goes so far whatever the moment Bob gets the um, composite bow archers and gulams, then it's very hard to counter it as the Malian. And you can also sprinkle in some spears. Because all you need to do then, uh, as Abbasid, is make sure you have some spears for the sofas. And what does Malian do? If you make Musafari warriors, the Musafari warriors die to archers. Sofas against archers are good, and against uh, Ghulams they're okay. But in general, they're not gonna be... Um, Ghulams are not gonna be easily killable. And poison archers are not it, trust me. It's not it. Gets the second pit mine, which is nice. Ooh, this might be a good pickoff. This might be a good pickoff. Insta moves away, okay. Saw that? Insta moves away, still takes like more than half the damage on that one guy. Now remember, remember chat, the TC only garrisons 7, which means not only less garrison space, but less DPS in the town center, and the TC has less range. So, that means the javelin throws can just come here and clap the, the villagers gathering on the deer right there which could be pretty annoying plus one range attack coming in uh bob not actually having too many units i feel like this is kind of dangerous the army supply might look similar oh but i don't know if it is seven archers is not enough right now not enough at all and uh i feel like if stacy pushes a bit more i think that's gonna be a pretty rough uh rough trade for bob but stacy is going back And, uh, yeah, a lot of horsemen, right? And Bob is making three more horsemen. How many stables are we on? Two stables, two archer rangers. So Bob is committing quite heavily to horsemen and has actually more horsemen than the archers, which is kind of funny. And now with this harassment, Bob is going to try to burn down some stuff. And that's a lot of units. So six seven more volleys and this might go down a lot of villagers and food and stacy's close to age up i like the way stacy has played this i gotta say not good start right that ram not being scouted was not a good start and right now bob is committing so much to the horseman because he saw the multiple production buildings grand fulani is coming and i don't think abbasid can do anything here I mean, what do you, even if he pushes, I don't think he can, like, kill him. Maybe he kills houses here. The triple stable in the back coming in, hiding it from his opponent as well. I like that. That's kind of spicy a little bit. I like that. And, yeah, Bob is, I don't know if Bob wants to be aggressive or Bob is convinced that Malian is being aggressive. So he's just over making units right now. But... That is not what's happening. And I think if you're Stacy, if you see these units, just run. Just throw the spears and run. You don't need to fight this. Yeah, just, just make shit there, right? Protect your gold and just wait for the sofas to come out. Although I would like to see more Donzos and Javelin throwers coming out because you don't want to cut. And by the way, this is only five uh, cattle ranches. So it's not a full cattle ranch production. Sofas are coming out. Needs to get those upgrades ASAP. Gets the veteran Donzo upgrade first. Only nine Donzos right now. And Bob doesn't commit any further. Just chills for now. More berries are coming for the Spearman. And Bob is going to be able to age up in the moment. And this is where the matchup becomes a problem. This is why a lot of players as Malians opt for like feudal lens against Abbasid. Because once Bob gets age up, 
Uh, what will happen is all these archers are going to get composite bows and they're going to be way, way, way harder to deal with. Economic wing is coming. Okay, so Bob wants eco wing in order to prepare for the farm transition. Doesn't even go for the berries here. Already making farms. Kind of interesting. Um, units are running around the back. There is a wall, but this might go down. This is going to go down, I think. If he just right clicks it, there's no way it doesn't, right? Oh, he's deciding for he's opting for a run by instead. Sofas are being hidden, but Bob is pre-making spears because it's so common in this matchup to go for sofas. So Bob is already pre-making spears, and Bob now definitely sees the sofas. The, the, the you know the sofas are out of the bag right now. No upgrades, no imported armor, no plus two plus two. Oops. How have I never heard that sound before in the game? It sounds like whipping. Like the horsemen when they attack. I don't know if it's the horsemen or sofas, but when they attack, you can hear like a new sound. I don't know if that's added or what, but I've never noticed it before. Here we go. They're coming. Oh, I don't know if you want to trade here as the as Bob. You just run away, you just chill. Your age up is coming. And the fact that Bob is defensive, by the way, in this time, means that he's aging up. And that gives Stacy the power to push. Um, because, you know, if you're age three and your opponent is age two, the only way the opponent doesn't push you is if they're also aging up themselves, right? So he is actually losing a lot of these horsemen, which might be a problem like horsemen are not gonna be crazy good against malian but if you get on top of the javelin throwers you can dent them in quite quite heavily so stacy only five kettle wrenches so not having a sixth one maybe forgot and uh stacy is pushing but where do you go where do you go i think well this is definitely one of the answers that we will be seeing the sofas are coming. Plus two uh, ranged armor. Very, very important, by the way. Very, very important because of those uh, uh, archers. Composite bows is not getting researched. Okay, it is now. The moment I said it, the player heard me. Composite bows is being researched. Is Malian getting the relics? Uh, no, Malian is just fully committing. The longer this game goes, the worse it is for Malian, by the way. You want to try do massive amounts of damage or end the game right now. So what Mali needs to do is literally just mass units and try to end the game. Now, this is what I was talking about. If he had a horseman, he can contest his javelin throwers. But these javelin throwers can actually fight against spearmen and archers and kind of just tank if they wanted to. So that's one thing that, that having the horses would help quite a bit. We see sofas coming in here now. Stacy is coming for that booty and we might have a 2-1 if this continues the way it's going some horsemen are coming in here oh stacy no wheelbarrow that is a that is a capital punishment on the cutie patootie channel right there um we do see javelin throwers killing shit over here no knights from bob so bob is fully transitioning to spearmen and archers some damage being done on both sides. Bob is losing a lot of villagers. 15 villagers are going down. 17 villagers. Where is he? He's losing more over here. And Bob is on fire right now. Not because he's like playing super well and he's on fire, but he's actually like getting bullied and torched right now. Engagement over here, but is that a good engagement for Bob? No target fire from the javelin throwers on the archers, so maybe it is. The sofas are running in everywhere. There's units there. There's units over here. There's units harassing over here. All the spearmen go down and uh-oh. Sofas? A lot of them. 16 sofas. There's more sofas than the spearmen. On the other side, we do see some, some harassment and that no wheelbarrow is, is hurting me so painfully. That no wheelbarrow is hurting me more than the villagers that are dying to no wheelbarrow. Javelin throwers target firing over here. Sofa's chasing the horsemen. You sneak things for sure. 96 gifted subs, brother. And we have just reached 10,000 subs, which means.
goodbye here. That's right. Goodbye here. Um, manages to defend. Now, can Bob stabilize? The incomes are not looking good for Bob. Now, Stacy had some idle time with the villagers. The villagers started mining. But Bob has way less income. The farm transition not completed. Not a lot of food remaining. So, if Stacy keeps pushing... I think that Bob might end up losing this game. There's so many villagers on the bottom. And there's no space. 13 villagers, by the way. Right here. I wonder if it'd be good for Stacy to go into archers now. Although there's no counters for javelin throwers. Like, spearmen are actually not bad against javelin throwers. Because javelin throwers didn't do a lot of damage to them. But... There's no, like, real counters to them. Torching over here. The one thing that I kind of wish that, that Stacy did is get the uh, the mosque to get the relics. But if Stacy did get the relics, then the pressure would be lessened. So who knows? The villagers are running around. A lot of the villagers are idle. This side is getting torched, so he's going to get in there. Now, do you go for second TC and just kill it? Maybe you do. Maybe you just torch that shit down. Oh, 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 villagers, villagers? Hello? Villagers? He's micring at the top. Or fighting at the top. I don't know if he's micring. Sofas over here. Sofas got seven ranged armor now, by the way. So these archers are doing two damage per hit. And still no golems. We don't see any golems. Which I feel like mixing in some here and there would be quite good just to tank the damage. From sofas, from, from javelin throws, from whatever. That is a massive army. I think you just go in with the sofas here. Obviously running into spearmen with cavalry is never good. But that is way too many sofas. And Bob is getting absolutely destroyed on the bottom side. The units at the top do get repelled. But that drew like a lot of like one third of the army there. Stacy pounces. Eats them cheeks right now. And this might be going into game number four. As it is right now. Wow. The units are coming in. More production coming in from Bob. But Bob's food income is 700. That is not enough. Not enough at all. And oh la la. The gold is about to get depleted. The next gold is over here, which is extremely open. There's one on the TC, of course, as well. More units are pouring in, and the Malian army just does not stop. The relics are now getting picked up, and Bob is... Well, he's getting dented in everywhere I look. There's just villagers dying, and... Stacy! Damn, girl! Stacy says and comes back two to one bob has been eliminated i'm actually like the fact that like this is the whole matchup by the way this matchup is what you just saw and stacy has a timing like a very small timing to get in there and do damage if you don't you're dead right so you need to put massive amounts of pressure and you need to try and do some damage got in there with the sofas dented him in and managed to get the w the next map is cliffside yo we have it we have it guys we're about to have are you ready french versus jean d'arc is happening right fucking now let's go baby dude let's go so, maps, we're playing Cliffside now, which means the last map is Himeyama. Regarding civilizations, we are about to... So, Malians just won against the Abbasid. We have French versus Jean d'Arc, and the last matchup will be, if we get to it, these are live games, so I don't know if we're going to get to it, Japanese versus Holy Roman Empire on Himeyama. Boys, I want to thank you. While we're in this uh, uh, little break, I want to thank you guys for 10, listen to this, in an RTS game, 
in a dead game, in a dead genre. 10,000 subs. That is fucking wild. That is wild. My goal, like the top goal, was 5,000. And that was supposed to make, get us to November uh, 14th, which was the release. 10,000 subs. That's wild. Thank you guys so much. Again, I appreciate it. I don't know what to say. It's crazy. People want your hair. Okay, dude. So guys, stop with my hair. By the way, after the second series, I'm going and going to shave my head like that. Um, so, yeah. The players are ready. The gaming is on the way with game number four between Stacy and Bob. It is right now two to one for Bob. Stacy coming back that last game. Coming back strong. And we have, you know what? I don't care. Someone's gonna be like, oh, did someone play this game already? Shut! World first. This matchup has never been played at the pro level, at the noob level, at the no level. Never seen before. French versus JD. What? Bob is going to be playing as French. Stacy is going to be playing as JD. Mm. Mm -mm. Let's see what happens. Wait, I just realized my live thing. I have to move my live thing because it's not predicted for 10,000 subs. Dude, I can't believe there's 10,000 subs, dude. That's insane. Holy shit, like live was like running into the three in the uh, right there. Um, so Stacy, JD, French, Bob. Now, what do you do? What is the meta? I don't know actually in this matchup. I think as French, you go only knights and you go 2TC. Like, no joke, I think that's the play, and you don't fight the hero unless you can kill it. Like, unless you can charge and kill it. I think you just go 2TC and you try to get to castle. I don't think you fight. And I think as JD, you go 1TC, mass knights, and you try to fight. So I think French should take the more defensive approach, actually, in this one. Because, wow, JD is aging up with five villagers? Wait, what? You're not gonna have enough XP. Binning. Uh. Wait, what? Wait. Binning. Yeah, go build the landmark, yeah. Four villagers and JD. That is going to be ex. Oh, there's a thing inside okay. of the TC. That's going to be an extremely fast age up to the point where I don't... You're not even going to have food to build a knight, I think. Okay, I mean, I'm here to learn. I'm here to learn. By the way, guys, just so you know, today after the second series, we're taking the electric razor. Is that what it's called? Dragging it through the middle. And then I'm going to keep it like that for 24 hours before getting the rest of the hair off. Thank you. The reason why I'm gonna wait 24 hours is because I didn't want to like delay the zing and then say like, oh, we got 10K, I guess we shave it all off, right? So I, I, I'm gonna do you guys good and I'll keep it for 24. I like the color. Actually, not my favorite. 
I gotta say, this might be my least favorite one. We went from, like, orange to blonde orange kind of thing to light green to dark green. Dark green was my favorite. I, like, I actually thought it looked good. Orange was green? Well, whenever I had orange, people just called me budget Eminem and stuff like that, so I don't know. <sighs> I don't know about that. Yeah, so anyway, uh, Stacy is coming in. Okay, Bob is blocking with the scout. He blocked the charge. Stacy is now being the aggressor. Most of this series, we've seen Bob being aggressive first, but not in this one. In this one, Stacy is the one putting on the aggression. We got no upgrades from Stacy. Still no level 2 hero, by the way. So Stacy sacrificed hero level for faster age up to make more knights. Bob right now is making only second knight. Stacy is making a third knight. So I think if if Stacy keeps up, bro, what what is this? Where's this hero? Why is it not leveling up? Dude, what the hell? It's only 442. I mean. Stacy has knight advantage, which is nice, but I'm wondering, is it worth not leveling up so far? Maybe it's okay, actually, because I'm thinking, if you level super quickly, right? Like, let's say Stacy leveled up super quickly. What's the point? You can't go out because you're going to lose the hero, right? So maybe the idea is that you level up slower, but you have more knights, so you can actually go and kill wolves and kill shit. Now, do you go Archer, or do you go the melee? Okay, he's gonna build a house to level up the last few ticks. The knight here on the gold. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Stacy doesn't see, but Bob doesn't get the charge, actually. And that knight is damaged quite a bit, and we're gonna see Archer. Okay, so Archer... Okay, I would say Bob has higher chance of going Spearman than Stacy. And Archer will be able to snipe the knights or the villagers, right? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's gonna be a villager snipe. Oh, he doesn't have the ability yet. I forgot. Oh my god, kill the knight! Oh, the knight goes down, and that's a good amount of XP right there. This knight is chasing this one. They're just producing knights. Stacy now with four knights, extra knight, and gets pushed up the gold! Oh la la, we are seeing a lot of problems now for Bob. A lot of problems. Has to go into archer range and Stacy already has archer range. Now, I feel that the melee hero could dent in the, the spearman though really hard with the AoE ability. But the archer is going to be better earlier on in low amounts. Now, Bob is going for big run by with all his knights, actually. Three, well, three out of four. And Stacy is playing this safe, and Stacy is sticking around the gold. Stacy coming in for the knight arrest. Boom, villager goes down. Oh, la la, this is not looking good. Hero goes back. Should probably not let Bob get the gold for free, though. Like, if, if, if Stacy now comes back with the archer and the knights, that is going to be a lot of damage done to the gold again because this one spearman cannot defend bob is waiting so stacy does not see bob but bob sees stacy and he's trying to drag away the knight so he can come in that's a good level play right there and stacy does not see and oh la la two villagers go down right there that is not a good trade and stacy is just letting bob now gather here that's a big mistake i think that's a big big mistake Where's the hero? Hero is over here, okay. That's a big... Because I think if Stacy just stayed here, Bob has no chance of gathering this gold ever again. Hero, is he gonna snipe? Snipe? 40 damage. Yeah, that's, that would kill that for sure. The knight goes down again. Another knight goes down from Bob. Yo, Stacy's turning it up. Attention. Okay, now Stacy, the hero, okay, uses the ability 
on the uh, Royal or the uh, School of Gallery. Has heal and has damage ability. Now, the tower is completed. There are a lot of spearmen, but we see Stacy also now making spearmen. Mining uh, thing coming. I really wish that Stacy got wheelbarrow. I don't know why no wheelbarrow. Same no wheelbarrow last game, no wheelbarrow now. It would help a lot with the villager pools. Two knights are coming on the top. Units are rallied over here. That's a lot of units. That is eight knights, guys. Eight knights versus three, and the three knights are not at home. One is about to die and two are the top. So it's eight knights, three spearmen, and an archer versus just spearmen. And this archer can just pick off villagers right here. Let's see the attack range of this. Oh la la. Yo, if he sees that. Oh, the knights are in the main base. The knight managed to escape on the top. We see knights harassing. There are some spearmen. Stacy playing this pretty well. Going back now, Stacy, you gotta you gotta go for it, sister. Spearmen over here, good micro from Bob splitting up those villagers. The knights are running in the back, and there's deer right there. No uh, player has the villager HP upgrade, by the way. Stacy? Oh! What? Okay, he's gonna go back here. Double barracks now for Bob. Oh la 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 la! Attacks everywhere. Archer using the ability, dude. If that if that hero was the melee hero, holy shit, it would dent in those spearmen so bad. The knights are killing villagers, but they are going down, and all the knights from Bob are down. Except one. I think that that's the one in the TC that's pretty much dead. And right now we see archer range coming in from Stacy, and Stacy is cooking. We see the uh, conscript on the spearmen, on the barracks and, and the cavalry. I don't know why there's no conscript on the TC. That's the first thing you want to conscript. But it is what it is. I feel like the food is becoming a bit of a problem for uh bob because there's so many knights from stacy but stacy's playing it so passive like i feel like stacy can commit like so hard into this did that that did not kill oh he shot at the villager with a lot of hp okay now the the hp is on Archery ranges coming from Bob. Bob changing his mind. Went with stables, then went archer ranges. The units keep pushing. Plus one ranged armor is completed for Stacy. Plus one range attack is not there. The hero can harass these villagers, and that is eight idle villagers, by the way. That is not like a villager or two. That's eight. Right there. Stacy's kind of trying to push in. Now, Bob can go for gold here. But obviously it's going to be open to harassment from the other side. These villagers are so open right here. So, so open. One knight in the back, but there are two, three spearmen. That should be more than fine. Some farms from Stacy, and Stacy still no wheelbarrow. Oh, la, la. I feel like that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big deal right now. Bob is transitioning to almost full spearman and archer right now. Not really mining gold. Gonna wall off this side. I like that. The knight gets uh, gets stuck. The villagers are stuck. Oh, wait. They slipped through. Okay. One villager goes down. What is the level of the hero? We need to check this. What is the level? Hero is halfway done. But the thing is, one battle. One battle and this hero levels up. And you know what you do when the hero levels up? You go for the man at arms um, ability. Because if you go man at arms, the man at arms are gonna have insane amounts of armor and they do bonus damage against spearmen as well. And that's gonna be really hard. If this game keeps going longer, the hero will level up and that is not gonna be a good time for, uh, for Bob. We see Bob has more villagers. That's because he's French and he's producing villagers for free. Or for free, producing them faster, sorry. We see more knights on this side, and now Bob is no longer gathering uh, gold, no longer gathering the berries, now transitioning into billion villagers on wood, 
and this might be uh, for farms. And if this is for farms, that is going to be really, really bad. You cannot afford to go farms now. Like, you need to make units. Bob has a lot of units. 28 spearmen, in fact. 28. And Stacy stopped archer production. Stacy not producing much, actually. I'm gonna build a market. Getting wheelbarrow, finally. The push might be coming through the middle. That spearman is gonna run in. Plus one range attack completed. Gets the boar for the XP. The knights are running around. Trying to find some damage, but everything is walled on that side. And Bob is pushing straight through the middle. Now, does Stacy have enough archers? 28 spearmen is a lot. Where's the XP at? That hero is leveling up in next fight. That hero is leveling up in the next fight. Oh no, you don't want to lose that. And once that hero levels up, if it was the melee hero, this would be a destruction. This many spearmen using the Q ability on the melee hero would absolutely destroy them. But because this is a ranged hero, uh, it will get a lot of ranged damage, but it won't be as impactful. The more impactful thing will be the ability that he's going to have. The knights are going around. Stacy needs to be careful. Probably want to start spamming the ability. He also has the healing ability that... Oh no, you sit immediately? Oh la la, I don't like that at all. The units didn't even hit and Stacy already pressing that W. The hero must be super close to leveling up. Just needs to not lose the hero. Just needs to not lose the hero. The hero is getting hunted down. The hero goes down. Needs to rebuy that immediately. Rebuy that shit immediately. Rebuy that shit immediately. Stacy! Needs to rebuy that. Now, the villagers are not going down, which is a good thing. Stacy needs to buy that hero back and needs to uh, uh, upgrade it to level 3 and spawn man at arms right now. J okay, she returns to the battlefield. Q that, Q that, Q, 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 Q. No Q. The players are both steering. There's action everywhere happening. Snipes the knight. You can level up. You can level up. Uses Consecrate on something. Still no Consecrate on this thing. Level up your hero. Stacy, what are you doing? Level up the hero. Oh, no, no, don't tell me that. Does he not realize that the hero is leveled up? Oh, no, no, sacre bleu. I feel like this game was a massive lead for Stacy. Put himself in a really good position on this gold and then let up on the pressure. He might go for the boar for XP and realize. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was close. Men at arms are now in, and these men at arms guys, they do 15 damage plus 8 damage versus spearmen, which would solve a lot of the problems of spearmen that Stacy has right now. So now once you get this uh, level up, what you want to do is you want to go back to knights and archers because now you have an extra answer for the spearmen, and these guys clap spearmen super hard. Like, they four-shot them almost, right? 2020. Yeah, they four shot the spearmen, which is kind of crazy. The hero chilling, still in feudal. Now potentially, dude. Uh, oh my god, this is so many villagers, like just straight up open. Stacy may be panicking a little bit, not raiding enough. But if Stacy starts raiding, there are villagers to be picked off everywhere. If you look at the map, these these guys on the left are so so wide open, and now Stacy decides to pull these all these villagers back, pulling them on this side. Okay, breaking over here. Bob is being aggressive once again, and I gotta say, oh, guild hall is coming up. I gotta say, I personally love the melee hero way more because the splash AOE damage it does so much damage to the feudal units. 
that the hero can kill like 20 units on its own. But the range version will give you like the snipe potential. Uh, 100 damage so you can you can two shot a knight with the ability which is you can get some good value and it does 27 damage versus light melee infantry so it's going to be able to kill spearman quite well bob sees the age up man at arms need to start coming out is that that's a chop through oh god that is an actual chop through a full full chop through actually ability is getting used on the knights the heal needs to be used when the units are low hp or low-ish, because it heals 30% of your missing health. Snipes the archer over there. Good position for the units. I'm not sure where men-at-arms are. There's two Jean's champions still. Units are coming in to try and tank. Are we going to see another snipe? Probably wants to snipe some of the uh, some of the knights, because the rest of the units are just spearmen at this point. And Bob is overwhelming. Uh, Stacy quite a bit here. The hero is doing a lot of damage, but is it gonna be enough? That's a lot of units. Man-at-arms are now coming. More knights are coming. Oh la la. The knights are going down. The hero is taking a lot of beating. Needs to run. Needs to run. Uh, the hero goes down and Stacy falling apart a little bit. Two supply. Two army supply versus 38. That hero quite a bit away from level four and Stacy taps out I genuinely think if the hero was melee that would have been like you guys I mean if you watch the games the hero the melee one does so much AoE damage it is crazy like it is crazy crazy how much damage it does and it could mow down those spearmen so so fast in the end, more economy for Bob. I think Stacy had a really good start this game, harassing everywhere, killing stuff. Uh, but at some point, Stacy just became kind of like, okay, I can just kind of wait here. And then Bob slowly got back into the game, did a good counter push, knew what his win conditions were. Yeah, I think in that matchup, you don't need to age up as, as JD. You know, like, why would you need to age up? You're stronger and feudal because your units are cheaper. Uh, and not only your units are cheaper, but you have a hero that is way stronger than anything. So if anything, Bob should have tried to age up and Stacy should have tried to stay in feudal. But in the end, it is what it is. The score will be three to one for Bob and Bob does take the first series of the day. Three to one. Thank you.